glad believers that came through the doors of the potter's house today. Let me just check now. That came through the doors today with a spirit of expectation. Those of you who come with a spirit of expectation, come on down to this altar as we set this atmosphere for God to come in and meet us in the name of the Lord. Come with your hands lifted. Come with your hearts open. Come expecting to receive. Come expecting to meet Jesus. Come. Go. Come Let's ready go. to be healed. Hallelujah. Come ready to be set free. Hallelujah. Come Four. ready to offer up God praise. Come ready to give him worship. Five. Come ready to magnify him and make everything else small. Come ready to see Jesus. Come on. Zion, everybody just lift your hands even Five. now. Father, we thank you. We bless your great name for this day. We thank you, O oh God, that you watched over us, O oh God, as we slept last night. And Father, if you woke us this morning and we know that you did, you did it for a purpose. You spared us for a reason. You kept us because you have more for us to do. You spared us because you have more for us to receive. So Father, we enter this service with the spirit of expectation. We enter this service coming and desiring to sup and commune with you. We enter this room and the rooms all around this world with the expectation that as we lift our hands, we shall see the King of Kings Two. in his fullness Four. and in his glory Five. and in his power and in his presence. Father, move in Five. our service. Hey, hey, hey. In the name of the Lord Jesus, move in our midst. Move in this congregation. Move in the homes around the world. Move in our spirit. Move through these pews. Move through these aisles. Hallelujah. Let everything be under your anointing. Let everything be under your anointing. Let everything come subject to your power. Let every disease bow its knee at your name. Let every disease bow its knee at your name. Let every disease bow its knee at your name. Every bandage, every sickness, every disease, every torment of the mind, be bound in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hey, 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 hey. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hey, la, la, la. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the powerful name of Jesus. In the miraculous name of Jesus. In the undefeated name of Jesus. In the all-powerful name of Jesus. Jesus be lifted. Jesus be glorified. Jesus be lifted high. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Hallelujah. And Father, Father, I thank you that today you have something special in store for us. Oh, Father, we pray today boldly, surprise us in your presence today. Do something that only you can do. Oh, God. And Father, we haven't come empty-handed, but we've come with our praise. We've come with our worship, and we've come to give it to you freely. In Jesus' name. Father, have your way. In Jesus' name, everybody shout amen. If you're ready to worship, let me just hear you make a thunderous noise here in this room. Come on, let's blow the roof off this place. All the grateful people shout unto God. Come on, come on, come on. Touch somebody and say it's time to worship. Touch them and say it's time to worship. Hallelujah. It's time to give a praise. I hope you came ready. Get you some space because it's time to go forward. It's time to go up. It's time to thank him. It's time to bless him. Come on, let's go. You're going to
gonna need a little room, church. Get it again. You gonna need a little room, church. One, two. You gonna need a little one, room, church. Two, three, two, three, two. Come on. Go take it. Put on. Here we go, church.
Father, we thank you for the freedom that we experience in your presence. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And we thank you that there's freedom in this room. There's freedom in this room. And it's not just available. It is accessed by those of us who have entered into your presence. Our hands are extended now to you, Father, in a side of gratefulness. Our souls love you today. Our soul loves you today. We're not unaware of your faithfulness. We're not ignorant to your compassions toward us. And this morning we command our bodies and our souls to agree with what our spirits know. That you are worthy One, of our praise. Two. One. And two, our souls three, four, make their boast in you today. Our souls sing before you today, oh God. Hallelujah. That's it, Zion. Just singing to him a new song even now. Everybody lift it up. You brought me over. 
Oh, 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 my soul will sing. You brought me you brought over. Me over. Oh, my soul. oh, my soul. You brought me over. You brought me over. Oh, my soul. 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 Hallelujah. With a grateful heart. Hallelujah. We lift hallelujah. hallelujah. You deserve it, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 You say hallelujah. for everything you've done. Hallelujah. For everything you are to us. Hallelujah. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is your mercy. Hallelujah. Say. Hallelujah. We can say it over and over again. Whenever we think of your goodness, our response is hallelujah. Say, come on, lift it. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, raise it up, church. Say, hallelujah. Say,
brought me over. One more time, church. You brought me over. Let your soul sing. Your soul has a voice today. You brought me over. Oh, my soul. Brought me over. Need to slow down a little bit. Oh, my soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing your song to him. Sing your song to him. Sing your song to Jesus. Say that, that, that. Sing your song to Jesus. He's a wonder in my soul. He's a wonder in my soul. He's a wonder. In my soul, bless his name. He is a wonder in my soul. He's a wonder in my soul. He is a wonder in my soul. Bless, bless his name. He is a wonder in my soul. He is a wonder in my soul. He is a wonder in my soul. In my soul, like Bishop is on yellow. Bless His name. Come on and praise Him like you really love Him. If you know He's a wonder in your soul, come on and praise Him like you really love Him. I heard an old lady say. When you say he's a wonder, that means that he does stuff that leaves you wondering how he did it. If he's been a wonder in your soul down through the years, come on and give him some praise and honor and glory. I don't even, I don't even know how you did it. I don't know how you did it. I don't know how you healed it. I don't know how you brought me out of there. I don't know how you brought me out of there. I wonder how you kept me when I didn't want to be kept. I wonder how you fed me when I didn't have a job. I wonder how you brought me through depression and loneliness and stuff. He's a wonder. He's a wonder. In my soul. He's a wonder. He's a wonder. In my soul. A wonder, a wonder in my soul. Bless His name. Oh, church, He's a wonder. wonder to my hey, 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 hey. in my soul. In my soul. He's a wonder. My soul, 
I can feel it in my soul. I can feel it in my spirit. I can feel it in my mind. I can feel it in the atmosphere. I can feel it in my belly. Anybody that got a praise down in your belly, just jump up and let it out right now. Three. One more. Six, two. He's a sanctified one. Now, now. He's a sanctified one. Oh, yeah. Six, two, five, one. Wonder what we are. He's a wonder. He's a wonder. He's a wonder. Oh, yeah. He's a wonder. He's a wonder. Oh, yeah. My God, I feel the glory of the Lord in the room. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> glory. You gotta wake up. Yeah. 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 Recognize the Spirit of God no matter how He comes, no matter who He comes through, no matter what form or fashion it might be. We don't want to fall in love with the method, we want to fall in love with the Master. How many of you know that the Master is in the room right now? I said the Master is in the room right now. And I don't care whether He's walking on water or stepping on the cloud. As long as I know it's Jesus. One more. I'm going to give it a pass. Yeah. 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 Yeah! Two, one, three! 
I'm going to try to get through these announcements, but I don't know how it's going to go. Because when you start praising God like that, it's distracting. <laughs> it takes us away from form or fashion, routines or rituals. I don't know about you, but I was glad when they said I'm the Let us go into the house of the Lord. Can you say amen to somebody? A few quick announcements for your attention that I want you to be aware of that I think is important. Jesus said that we are the salt of the earth. And if in fact we are the salt of the earth, that means that we cannot so disconnect from the earth that we do not engage the world we're in. Salt affects whatever it touches. If you're eating food and it doesn't have salt in it, you can tell it immediately. In the old days, they kept meat by salting it down because salt is a keeper. And the Bible said we are the salt of the earth. It means that oftentimes it is the prayers of the saints and the work of the church that is the glue that holds the society together. The oxymoron of it all is sometimes people hate the glue never really realizing that it was the glue that held it all together. I was in Ukraine several years ago and they were talking about when they were up under the USSR, they tried to rule out religion and the decadence became so pervasive in the society that they began to recognize that there was a hidden glue that faith used to hold things together. The society doesn't even recognize. Somebody in the house gotta be praying. We can't all be drunk. Somebody in the house has got to be calling on the name of the Lord. We can't all get sick at the same time. Somebody. Oh, Y'all don't hear what I'm saying to you. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'm here because somebody prayed for me. <laughs> Had me on his mind. Hallelujah. Let me get back to this announcement. See, it's hard. It's hard. I remember. United Megacare is having a special voters registration next Sunday so that your voice can be counted, so that your thoughts can be heard, so that you can influence the society. You can't influence if you don't participate. Then you become a, then you become a victim of a society that you did not influence. So there's no need in complaining about things if you don't participate in things. We don't, we don't even have to agree about everything, but we must participate in everything. Can you hear what I'm saying? Now, like never before, your voice needs to be heard. Hallelujah, because our country seems like it's up for grabs. Somebody got to say something. Because <laughs> folk are talking like they lost their mind. Somebody got to say something. <laughs> In many cases, things are going from bad to worse. Somebody's got to say something. <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody has got to say something. Somebody has got to stand. The Bible said righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. Somebody's got to say something. And I'm tired of you tweeting about it if you're not going to vote about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just stop your tweeting. Tweeting ain't going to do nothing not going to change anything. So anyway, don't, don't let me get started, but I want you to vote. I want you to vote. I got some very, very sad news. A long time uh, member of this church and of this staff ran our data, data management for years. There was nothing that you ever needed to know about the people online, the people that fine. engage us through television, the people in our congregation that he couldn't immediately put his hands on. He had a stroke, uh, I guess over a year ago. I went, about a year ago, I went to the hospital to see him and he was buffering in and out, falling out to sleep and coming back. And every time he came to, he said, Bishop, I gotta get my computer. I said, you gotta get your computer, you're in the, you're in the hospital. He said, yeah, but I gotta get my reports in. I gotta get my reports in and he fall back out to sleep again. When people do something from their heart, 
even though the outer body begins to deteriorate, there's something, when you do it for the right reasons, I'm talking about Jeff Troy. He fought a good fight, he fought a long battle, he got out of the hospital, he overcame it, and then turned around and had a heart attack, and we lost him. And I want you to be in prayer for the, the family. He was such an important part of our church, it's heartbreaking. Uh, that we lost him. His heart was toward this ministry and toward the kingdom of God. Such a great loss to this church. And uh, how many of you will make a commitment to pray for his family and, and just lift him up and go before God? I hated to bring that bad news. I hated to read it. I hated to know it. I hated to see it. I walked in the hospital room. He said, you came to see me. He said, I can't believe it. You came to see me. Pastor Torrey went down there and prayed with him. All the other pastors started going down. Pastor Robinson, different people keeping track on him. Don't let anybody tell you that because the church is big, we can't be affected. On better news, we're getting ready for Wednesday school. It starts in October, is that right? Yeah, in October. It's going to be good. We're, it's still going to be Bible class, but it's going to be Bible class with a punch. Yeah, we're going to worship together. And we're going to sing together. We're going to sew together. And then we're going to break down into classes so that we can have participation. Because I don't want you to just watch church and be a voyeur. I want you to learn. I want you to grow. I want you to ask questions. I want you to evolve and become stronger. I want the students to become teachers. I want the learners to become disciples. I want to convert you from just being members and congregants and participants into walking the walk on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday.